Up to the age of puberty, um, headaches are common in both male and female patients. But after puberty, what happens is that there is a big gap. So uh, females are much more um, prone and it's much more prevalent in female patients to have headaches than it is in male patients. And usually um, this is due to a variety of hormones that are um, occurring during this time and throughout um, a female's life. But particularly estrogen is important in um, headache causation and uh, frequency as well as fluctuations that we get uh, throughout a woman's life. So what we normally see is during um, menstruation, uh, as the estrogen levels are dropping, ladies start getting more headaches. So that's why a lot of ladies complain that they get headaches and migraines around the time of menstruation. Then during pregnancy, when estrogen levels are quite high, um, the headaches actually start improving. Particularly by the second and third trimesters, some patients completely have resolution of their headaches and they don't uh, suffer from any symptoms. But unfortunately, as they get older uh, and they go through the perimenopause, when there is fluctuation of estrogen levels, we see significant worsening of headaches again. And some ladies actually present uh, with their headaches around the perimenstrual um, period, because um, the perimenopausal period, because of this fluctuation of headaches. And it's very important to be able to diagnose the hormonal headaches at various stages of life and to be able to give the specific treatments that are required to try to improve the symptoms and um, make the uh, headaches less debilitating. And I would be happy to discuss that further and to provide the treatments as required.